I did some market research, guys. This will blow you. This will blow you away. When I tell you nobody is doing what we're doing, nobody, nobody. I can number them, the amount of people that are doing it. This is the financial coaching marketplace from a Google search and a Facebook search. So obviously we all know Dave Ramsey. That's pretty much everyone in here comes from or just knows of. That's the baseline starting point. Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman. We all know that. But you can't get them to coach you one-to-one. -one. They're too big, right? So who's next, right? Who's below them? Well, it would be people within his organization, right? There's Dave Ramsey coaches out there. And then you can find a local person in your area, right? But what do they teach? That snowball, that's it. Saving seven baby steps, that's it. They are bound to only teach that, right? You can't teach anything else, okay? We're living in a time where the customer today is asking more questions than ever before. They're asking questions about crypto. They're asking questions about Forex, about real estate, about stocks, about velocity banking, about infinite banking, about debt leveraging, about credit card churning, increasing credit score. So you guys are in a very, very unique position, so uniquely positioned because you know an advanced concept, but at the same time, you can, you can dumb it down to the very, very basics to just get people in the door and then work their way up to those advanced strategies like velocity, infinite, and other strategies, other investment strategies, right? Mindset, things like that. So I did research. I will upload this to the course so you guys can check it out yourselves. Um, the bottom part we already discussed before, that's financial coaching certification communities that cost tons of money. But at the top is financial coaches who are coaching other financial professionals, right? And out of all of those groups, not one group is talking velocity banking, not one. But the market is ripe for it. People are asking, people are searching on YouTube and they're finding bad intel, right? Or if the algorithm favored, they found me. And then as you guys create content through me, they'll find you, right? So Kelsa Dickey is someone I would recommend. Honestly, the market research that I did was not to show you the opposition, right? Although that's who they are. That's this is your competitors. This is um, you know, what the market is providing currently. And we get to bring something new to the marketplace. But I also did the research in such a way that you can actually learn and see how other coaches are showing up, right? So Kelsa Dickey is a financial coach and she has a financial coaching academy and she has a financial coaching community Facebook group. So click the link. She's got 8,100 members. I am in this group. And it's a place where all coaches are sharing ideas, okay? Now, I caution, I caution everybody here. As velocity banking practitioners, because of the strategy itself, it comes with inherent risk and it still has a tainted uh, a smell and taste around it. People like Dave Ramsey and many other more popular people than us have made it out to seem like this is a scam. It doesn't work. The math doesn't add up. But everybody in this room has literally personally experienced what the results can do. So you know that, but majority of people don't. If you come in any one of these types of coaching groups, preaching velocity banking, right? Talking about how awesome velocity banking is. If you put attention on you, you're going to become a red flag, an easy target. So I would recommend not doing that and rather just observe first, see how the environment, what the vibe is, and then figure out ways that you can contribute value to the different posts that are, you know, being presented, different presentations. And again, it's an area where you can get around other somewhat like-minded financial coaches. I am I know this for a fact because I've done the research. There is not a single financial uh, coaching group that is centered around the velocity banking strategy or infinite banking strategy. It doesn't exist till now. It's us. It's right here. So here is where we can like talk kind of freely and not have to worry about pushback. If you start talking and preaching velocity banking here, you're going to experience pushback, right? 
and it will probably leave a sour taste. So the way that I contribute value, and I want you to look through the questions and see how I'm participating in building relations. And I can tell you that some of the people I've connected with, they're now watching my stuff quietly, quietly. And they're asking questions and they're like, hmm, I think I could add that to my practice. Yeah, hmm, that makes sense, right? Adding credit cards, man, 5,000 in cashback rewards every single year, that's a lot of money to the average, you know, paycheck to paycheck type person. That's a lot of cash savings. So that's why I um, did additional market research just to show you that. And what's also pretty interesting is like, guys, there's really like no one else. It's just this lady, Kelsa Dickey with this 8,000 following. There's this other guy named Garrett. Okay. This is his community, 5,300 members. And guess what? Pretty much all the members in here are over there with the Financial Coaches Unite group. It's literally the same people. You know how I know? Because every time I see a post, it 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 gets posted in that group, in the same group. I'd be seeing double questions. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. So it's the same people, right? So 5.3K, right? 8.1K. Then you got, hold on. Then you got biblical financial coaches. Most of us in this room are of faith, right? If not everyone in here. And look, only 928 members. So it's way more niche, but you, at least you know who are people of faith and you can see how they operate. You can go and look at their websites and look at their pages and see what are they posting? What are they doing? What is the market doing? And that's a good way of how you can cater your content, right? 928 members, nothing crazy. Then there's this lady, financial coaching, financial coach community for financial professionals, 1.1K predominantly women in here, right? And then there's this lady, financial coach Jess. She's on YouTube. She makes six figures. It's the only reason why I put her up here. And she was the only one that really popped up on YouTube talking about financial coaching from the perspective of her providing services for financial coaches on how to become one. And so guys, there's not a whole lot of programs that are out there out there helping other coaches. And there's just not that many financial coaches, period, in the marketplace. So financial coaching gets wrapped in with financial advising, and it's not the same thing. It's two completely different things. In fact, financial coaching shouldn't even be in the same category under financial advising. It should actually fall under life coaching, in, or it should just fall under the coaching industry, life coaching, mindset coach, right? Therapy coach, then there's financial coach. And you get to be in a very unique position where you can kind of play in both fields where you can provide potentially financial services that you get paid in addition to your financial coaching. So you can be consulting and coaching by the hour, right? And then down the line, as you open up more and more streams of income as a financial coach, you could be a real estate investor. As a financial coach, you could be a lender. And so you're providing like unique paths that your clients can take. You could be a financial coach that works at a bank as a mortgage lender. So now you're coaching clients to make better financial decisions on their property or the next property that they want to get. And then they're like, hey, by the way, I'm a licensed loan officer. So I know the details. I know the rates. I can help you find the best rate. And do you think they're going to want to work with you or some other Joe Schmo? No, they're going to want to work with you and they're going to want to stay with you and continue to stay with you. And you want to get the client coming to you every single time before they make a financial decision, whether you're an expert in that field or not. Your job as a coach is to have conversations, show the options, provide transparency, help them make better decisions, right? And you get to just be that person that they bounce ideas off of. So they're not talking to themselves. So I thought it was healthy to show you that what's in the marketplace. Take it back to the board. Here, that was another case study. And anybody else, I'll say here in those catching the replay, as you're building out your financial coaching model and consulting and practice overall, send it to me, right? And and if you're open to it, we'll put it up in here and have everybody look at it and you know give feedback, give insight, and you guys can communicate with with each other, email each other, et cetera, et cetera, right? 